Hey, what's up, fam? I, again, don't really see how... <laughs> I don't see how a series like Seven Deadly Sins, where you have the author introduce power levels and then keep as consistently relevant talking about them as they had. Uh, a lot of series have tried power levels, but and I feel like that it was just to kind of to have them for the moment, and then they stopped doing it. I know, like, Dragon Ball really just had power levels through, like, the Saiyan and the Frieza uh, sagas. Uh, I know One Piece did it in, in the CP9, kind of that whole arc. And then I think the only one that kept it otherwise pretty consistently relevant that I can remember is Shaman King. But Shaman King, I... From what I recall, like, their power levels were pretty consistent. But with Seven Deadly Sins, no. That shit ain't consistent at all. What we're kind of just going to appear at first it was from the ending of the last chapter when the five other commandments made its way to Meliodas. And now Merlin is like, well, I guess I have to drop my trump card and she's going to use some, like, uh, time stop ability on the, uh, on the cocoon of darkness to keep it from fully evolving Meliodas into the next Demon King. So it's pretty much just like the spell she uses on herself, so she's kind of halted in time so she could, you know, pretty much live forever. Uh, but use it on this thing, but it has a pretty considerable cast time from what it looks like. Meanwhile, there's Escanor and everyone's like, we need to, you know, guard her so she can complete the spell. Escanor is getting his ass like completely demolished. His king is keeping up while dozens of miles away, just waving his hands while flying. It's, I, I don't like Nakaba's love boner for King at all. He was fine when he was introduced, and, and but like after after that six month skip, I think it was six months, or actually I think it was a month. Whenever whenever Meliodas went into a coma and after losing to the Ten Commandments, you know, and then he got stabbed a bunch by. Uh, by Maelstorosa, but, well, I guess he's Estorosa then, but either way, and he got stabbed a bunch, and then we found out about the whole immortality thing and whatnot. Ever since then, King's been kind of on a horrible, horrible run of just being, like, absurdly on the borderline of Gary Stu. Like, he just gets power-ups, he's, he just accomplishes everything, and he's able to overcome with, with really zero efforts. I mean, the dude's, like, 3,000, in the last, like, two months, he's gone from, like, my power level's... 3,000, and then, then it's like, okay, now I'm trashing 100,000 level people. Like, dude, you've been this alive, you've been alive for this long, and you're just all of a sudden getting strong. Oh, come on. But the, the chapter was about the consistency with power levels. It's ridiculous that Zeldris is able to do anything at all, considering his power level was like 61,000, and he was losing to. Lucy Odell, or however you pronounce that uh, goddess dude's name, and and now he's keeping up with King's uh, spirit spear forms, even though Maelstorosa, like against the bear, was getting his ass like beat the crap out of. Him. He was just getting smashed. Like each form of the spear spear was completely manhandling Maelstorosa, but now Zeldris is able to contend with it. Like why? What's what's up with that? And then it just peers away with some awkward conversations between Hendrickson and... Uh, it's like, you know, I always forget to pronounce his name. He has such a weird name. It's like Lucio Dell or something. The goddess guy. I don't care for his character at all. Hendrickson is kind of alright with me. But the uh, the goddess dude I just don't really care for. They're kind of a heart to heart. And he's like, hey, use my body so you know you can defeat these guys. And I'm like, nah. Uh, I'll do this as just me. I mean, and then... like. He just gets back, and Escanor is just getting demolished. He gets a, a, a laser beam to the chest and just flies miles where he's caught by male who's coming in now to join the fight. While everyone else is just trying to do what they can to, to hold Merlin safe so she could cast a spell. And, like, I don't understand at this point how they're going to keep Escanor as relatively anything. I, I don't think that his character is going to have much value at this point anymore throughout the series and i say that because clearly he's not strong enough in his normal form to compete with the guy these guys maybe he could do it with the one but it's already past noon so he'd have to wait an entirely other day while hoping that somebody does like that 
the original demon doesn't cast that night spell, which completely cancels out its sunshine. So, I don't know, I, I think he's going to lose his grace to to male, and then male's probably going to get the all four graces and, you know, beat up the original demon in Zeldris and then fight uh, Meliodas with the Ten Commandments against uh, against male with his four graces. I don't know, that's just what... This is what I could see happening. It seems likely. I don't. I don't know what else is really gonna go on, other than maybe like a second Meliodas. Like I said, it's gonna a good Meliodas to fight the bad Meliodas. I don't know. It'll be. It'll be revealed soon. I think that the wait for him coming out of the cocoon has been too long. But I don't know. We'll, we'll get to that and probably some big crazy power level stuff within the next couple chapters. Either way, tell me in the comments what you think about what's going on right now in the series. Like. I don't know, it was pretty good up until, like I said, I always use the, the point of when Meliodas got his powers back, I think the series started to go down. And when he got that, uh, his powers from that big, what is it, the Goddess Amber or whatever, and then he went from like 3k to like 30k, after then it became extremely like wobbly of if the series was doing really good or doing really bad quality wise. And then after... After Meliodas, like, the whole immortality was revealed to him, I think it just got even got even worse with consistency of good chapters. There's been good stuff in between, but they've dropped the ball a little bit too much, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion, like I said. Either way, uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, I uh, ask that you give it a thumbs up, you know, like the video, subscribe, and check out my videos. But otherwise, thank you very much for listening, and everyone who's already subscribed, 